Hi, I'm Dr. Daniel Prince, Director of Sports Operations here at the Wellness Center. Today I want to introduce you to functional movement systems, but before we begin, I want to make one thing very clear. If you have pain with movement, do not seek an exercise solution to a medical condition. Talk to your doctor. Number two, I want to tell you what this video is not about. It's not about promising amazing rock hard abs in as little as six minutes a day or getting into the best shape of your life in 90 days. At the heart of our program is the desire to help you move well and without pain so that you can get back into the game and start enjoying life again. There are three programs that consist of the functional movement system. That is number one, the selective functional movement assessment. We use that in our office to rank and grade movement and that helps us guide our therapeutic exercise intervention. Number two is called functional movement systems. Listen up coaches because we want to partner with you. We use this for sports pre-participation physical. So we go into high schools and colleges and use this to rank and grade movement to identify injury risk as well as identify pain with movement that the, the athlete was probably previously unaware of. Number three is called the Y balance test. This is a test that identifies asymmetry in the way that we move. And we use it for both upper extremity, uh, lower extremity, as well as it identifies chronic ankle instability and ACL injury risk. Combining that information, we can compare that to normative data that exists for age, gender, and sport specific information to see how an athlete compares to his peers and to see what risk they're at for injury. Today you're going to observe Liz performing the Selective Functional Movement Assessment. Go ahead and face sideways to the camera. With your feet together, bite down and extend your head as far back as possible. While still biting down, go ahead and tuck your chin to your chest as far down as possible. Now face towards the camera. With your feet together, go ahead and rotate your head to the left and tuck your chin to the shoulder. And we'll do the same thing on the opposite side. Start with your left arm, reach across your body and press it into your chest. And we'll do the same thing on the opposite side. Go ahead and take your right arm, place it across your left shoulder and raise your elbow as high as possible and we'll do the same thing on the opposite side. Now face away from the camera and with your feet together go ahead and take your right arm bring it behind your head and touch your left shoulder blade. And we'll do the same thing on the opposite side. Take your right arm Bring it behind your back and touch the left shoulder blade. And we'll do the same thing on the opposite side. Facing sideways to the camera, put your feet together and touch your toes as far down as possible. Go ahead and put your arms above your head and extend as far back as possible. Facing away from the camera, put your feet together and go ahead and rotate to your left as far back as possible. And we'll do the same thing on the opposite side. Facing sideways to the camera, go ahead and raise your right leg up to 90 degrees and hold it. Now go ahead and raise your left leg and hold it. For the next 10 seconds, take your right leg and swing it back and forth while trying to maintain good posture.
and we'll do the same thing on the left leg. Facing sideways to the camera, go ahead and raise your arms above your head with your feet shoulder width apart and squat down as low as possible. Facing towards the camera, with your feet shoulder width apart, arms above the head, go ahead and squat down as low as you can go.